aim for is just you in repose, right. as you would be as if no one was watching. As the process goes on, there will be a point where you forget where you are. When your face totally relaxes, right. and you just sort of go into your default setting, and that's when I'm going to really feel what I'm looking for. Stay okay. pretty much in the position, that's fine. Brings back memories being measured. Of, um, when I was a child, the excitement of going to the shoe shop, having your feet measured. Why do you start with a profile? It just kind of maps out the basic proportions of the face. So I'm just marking on the angle that his actual profile is going to go on because his face is at an angle. And then I'm going to build up his profile along that line. It's totally different sculpting from life than sculpting from photographs because you end up building a relationship with the model. It's that moment when they really relax and become unself-conscious. That's when you just see that spark of who they are and that real feel of them comes through on their face. Now, it's incredible what you've done in, in an hour. I think it's, it's extraordinary. Well, it is early days, obviously, but yeah, at this stage, I'm just focusing on getting the profile kind of mapped out and then the main bony points and the structure of the face. Even just with the bone structures, you put it, you can still see the uh, the, li the lightness coming through. Well, I can anyway, it's extraordinary. So do you do one part of the head at a time? Well, it's really good to just constantly work all around the head and not get too focused on one bit because otherwise you can end up with one bit really developed and then it might not be in the right place or something. So earlier on I noticed that you were doing a lot of um, measuring but you don't seem to be picking up that tool anymore. I mean it's really good just to help as a guideline and if you're doing like a really super accurate, very realistic head, you measure check your measurements all the time but for something really sketchy like this I don't want to get too hung up on on that it's more about getting the feeling of you and more of an expressive kind of piece of work really <laughs> So I've already marked here two lines. I know that's the inner eye and outer eye on each side. So I know that the eyeball goes in between there. But I just want to see how far forward it comes from the side. It's looking like some kind of horror film exposed eyeball freak. The reason I do the eyes last is because you know, they are the most important bit to get right and you have to be sure that they're going into the right placement in the head. It's all really just like an elaborate game of spot the difference. You just look at the sculpture, look at the person, look at the sculpture, look at the person. And the quicker you flick your eyes between, the more the differences jump out at you. It's all about finding the right model, really, because it's not... A, it's, it's more about having someone with character in their face and interesting forms but but more than that it's also about someone that can sit without being self-conscious that's why it's so great working from life and having the luxury of sitting with someone for a whole day because inevitably you are going to go back to your default repose setting <laughs> Wow, <laughs> it really is uncanny. Actually, thankfully, there's a, there's a smile that uh, seems to have been my default pose, which is the uh, 
which is quite a pleasing thing, I think. Yeah, it's really nice how that's come out. I think because we were talking, chatting, it was often like the end of a smile. I didn't do it deliberately, it's just what... It's what incredible. Happened? I don't know how you've done it, to be honest. It's absolutely incredible. And what I particularly love about it is the fact that it's, it's got an element of the um, naive... Well, it is a very quick study, obviously. Yeah. I've just done it in a day. So I just wanted to keep that element so you can see the, the action of making it. Thank you.